बुक कर लीजिए थोड़ी देर ठहर के कर लें और सिरियल ज्वाइन कर लें रिकॉर्डिंग तो कर ली है वर्मा साहब इज दिस क्रिएटिव विजिबल विजिबल है ना क्रिएटिव बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो एज सुन एज ही जॉइंस विल स्टार्ट ठीक है फिर फिर मैं फिर मैं स्टार्ट ही मैं कर दूँ हाँ हाँ स्टार्ट आपने कर दूँ सो आई थिंक सिरियल हैज जॉइन तो वी कैन स्टार्ट हाँ हाँ या सिरियल हैज जॉइन जॉइन कर लिया तीन तीन बजे के या दो कत्ती सो गए हैं ठीक मैं तो यहीं से शुरू करता हूँ अब ये थोड़ा सा वेट कर लें टू थर्टी फाइव पे शुरू कर लेते हैं so we will start exactly at 235 thode bande aur ho jaye na ji okay sir okay sir okay so we have uploaded your uh, uh, ppt so i don't think there will be any problem yeah So Verma sir, so you know about Cyril, na? I know, so I know Cyril very well. Yeah. Okay. So he is our master in uh, tobacco industry interference, and uh, he is a very popular, uh, you know, uh, resource as well as a personality in the area of tobacco control. Yes. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a very good host also. Right. That I have not tried. That I have not tried so far. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> uh, you, I, I, I remember. You know how, how well he danced on the Lodi function in, you know, yeah, yeah. you, you, see, you know. And in John Hopkins School of Public Health, he was our choreographer okay. for the dance on that cruise. Okay. 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 So, Cyril, are you joining for that uh, reunion? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, still, but then we will be losing uh, a choreographer. We'll uh -huh. be losing one of the choreographers. <laughs> I'm trying to open the camera, but it's not working. Even in my, uh... it's not working. <coughs> yeah, I mean, is no yeah. issue from our side. I mean, his video is not working. Yeah. But there is no problem from our side. तो बेटे आप ना ये एडमिट कर लेना सो नाउ देयर आर थर्टी थ्री सो वर्मा साहब आई थिंक वी कैन स्टार्ट नाउ ओके वी कैन स्टार्ट या हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी वी वेलकम यू टू दिस साइफर एक्ो वेबिनार ऑन दी गुड रेप्लीकेबल एंड इनोवेटिव प्रैक्टिस इन द बाकू कंट्रोल इन इंडिया एंड टू दिस टॉपिक इज Monitoring tobacco exposure in the OTT service providers: A case study by Mr. Cyril. Mr. Cyril Alexander is a ED of the Mary Annie Charity Trust, MACT, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. I am Arun Verma, Director of Finance and Operation, Team ED, Team Cipher. Uh, I welcome uh, Mr. Cyril. A very, very warm welcome and our greetings to Mr. Cyril for being a part of this webinar and to having. Given time to 
you know, present the case study for which he has done aggressively, single-handedly. As a result of which I think the government of India has brought the OTT on the same page as the TVs and cinemas that they have to, you know, give the warnings about the uh, harms of the tobacco control to discourage the use of tobacco. Though uh, the success is not very good so far because I have seen a last movie which is a Medan, where I mean this uh, uh, actor who is working as a uh, coach, uh, he has, you know, throughout the movie he has been using, uh, he has been smoking cigarette. But anyway, it's a great achievement uh, on the part of Mr. Sarah that the government of India has banned it and slowly and slowly will be able to achieve our aim. So, uh, with this, I welcome, I welcome Mr. Sarah again uh, to this webinar and thank him also for you know, giving us the time. And along with this, I also welcome um, Mr. Rakesh Gupta, the President Cypher, and all the participants who have joined and the medical and the public health students. Uh, I also welcome Rajiv Chaudhary, who is a project coordinator with the uh, 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 Resource Center for Tobacco Control, PDI. Uh, PGI. Uh, today, I think uh, San Sanchika Gupta has not joined, who is a, from the, on, uh, who is a, you know, manager from the program manager from the echo india because of her assignment so with this uh, i request uh, mr rakesh gupta to uh, you know introduce the speaker mr Cyril alexander to our uh, you know participants so i am dr rakesh gupta and uh, this is my proud privilege to uh, to present uh, mr Cyril alexander who is an executive director, Mary Annie Charity Trust, or uh, called as MACT, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. He completed his master's in social, well, uh, social work from Loyola College in the year 1998. Then prior to which he was doing his bachelor in history from St. Joseph's College, Trichy. He started on his organization, MACT, from 2000 which grew to become a child-focused uh, development organization. MAC later on developed its uh, expertise on the fields of education, health and uh, health and uh, advocacy. His strength is advocacy. It took, uh, took him to work for tobacco control majorly along with the support of supporting individuals and like-minded organizations. He started a forum exclusively working for tobacco control, namely Tamil Nadu People's Forum for Tobacco Control, TNPFTC. So I may let you know that uh, we together worked on OTT, primarily Cyril, but we uh, we collaborated with him. And in last, uh, last maybe April, April 2023, we had a physical workshop in uh, uh, in Delhi, and after that, the next month, uh, it was declared that tobacco imagery in uh, OTT platform is not allowed, and it is valid from September 2023. So welcome, Cyril, and uh, over to you. Cyril, are you with us? I think we have lost connection with him. Cyril is there. Is there. So Cyril is there, but he's mute. Cyril, you are mute. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, kind words. Uh, I think the OTP, the OTT platforms, it's, it's uh, the title is like the OTT. I think it was a uh, mistake. OTT, OTT platform. Next. When we are talking about this OTT platform, uh, it's really it's an, uh, uh, the current issue. And then uh, we are all into the entertainment industry and then everybody likes to watch movies and everybody wants to see some uh, some serials or something like that. Uh, so the over-the-top platform flourishing during the outbreak of COVID-19. 
before that it's not like that uh, during this uh, covid 19 everybody has shift from conventional uh, screening to the uh, ott platforms because that time they are not able to go to the theater uh, and then they are, we we are, we are not access to any entertainment uh, activities so the uh, phone that uh, cell phone is the only modem and then we are able to see all the movies so the entire thing has been changed uh, the so the entertainment industry has been changed into ott platform that is the major shift actually from uh, tv series also even for uh, tv serials and then most of them are changed into ott platform because most of the TV serials are available in the, all the episodes are available in the OTT platform. So no need to wait for some time or something like that, whatever, whenever they want, and then they can simply, they can open and then they can uh, watch the serials also. Next. So uh, as, per the, as per the report, there are 50 crore OTT subscribers in India expected to reach 55 crore by end of this 2024. Uh, but I think it will be more than that. Uh, because nowadays, uh, more uh, children and other groups also, they are joining. Before that, we don't, we, we, we won't used to give uh, uh, cell phones to our children. But now, because of that outbreak, and then all the online classes, uh, we, are, we are giving the uh, gadgets to children and then now they are also watching the movies in the gadgets itself. So the mandate for OTT platforms, we have already Tobacco Control Act, the Code Part 2003. The Code Part 2003 is applicable for OTT also. It's applicable for any uh, tobacco related issues. But what happened with the OTT platform, they, they want to exclude it and then uh, they are not following any uh, rules or something like that. Uh, that's why we had a uh, very good meeting in Delhi, Dr. Rakesh Schiffer, they organized a very good uh, meeting in Delhi and then where the high officials were there. And then we are able to present the violations, what kind of violations are happening, how we can go ahead with this. And if you are not going to address this OTT, then it will be the major issue because we are talking about the other tobacco control uh, measures but we are not able to address the OTT, then it will be the uh, major issue. So we are able to get this GSR 400E. The GSR 400E has uh, commit, committed the OTT platforms also. They have to follow the uh, code, power, uh, code power rules, section five rules. So the, these are the three major things. One is the anti-tobacco health spots has to be there. And then the anti-tobacco health warning has to be there. And during the uh, smoking scene. It has to be in vernacular language and then the white background in black letters. Because nowadays we are getting many uh, dubbed movies, no? So all over India you can get any dubbed movies. So the vernacular language is very, very, very important. Uh, next, please. And then the audiovisual disclaimer. See, these are the major uh, players in uh, OTT platforms, but now now it's more than uh, 75 or 80 platforms, the major platforms now. And then the, we are able to address this Netflix, Disney, Hotstar, Amazon, and Dara Media, Z5, and Sony Live. Next. Next, why we are, we, why we are addressing these uh, particular uh, OTT platforms is they have some grievance cell. They have some mechanism. The other OTT platforms, they don't have any mechanism. So we are addressing uh, this through that uh, particular thing. And then there is a movie called Bikram in Tamil. Uh, so they, in the theater, they had a, a health warning, white background and black letters. When they are screening it in uh, OTT platform, they, they remove the uh, health warning and then they are releasing it to the OTT platforms. When we are sending a complaint and, and then they are representing to the government in other way around, like uh, it will be very expensive and then it's very complicated to add uh, these health warnings in the OTT platforms. But what actually what they are doing is they are already the uh, health warning is there, but they are taking uh, uh, time and then they are spending money to remove all these things and then they are screening it in the OTT. 
So this is the evidence, and then uh, uh, actually this movie, no, this Vikram movie. You will see it's a three hours movie, but uh, through our uh, editorial justification, RTA editorial justification report, we come uh, we come to know it's uh, it's around thirty thirty six minutes, a three hours movie, and then thirty six minutes of uh, substance of which they are showing them substance of which for thirty six minutes. So it's really it's a violation. Uh, next. Uh, and then the same thing is also here. No, see uh, when we are coming for a theater, and then it's coming with a white background and all these kind of things. Because uh, we already we approve, we we did many uh, interaction with the sensor board, and then now they are aware of that, and then they are uh, they are giving the proper guidance. When it's come to the OTT, you can see they have a health warning, but with the you can see the background. Background is different. It's not a white background. That means. It's not visible. So again, we have to uh, send a representation to them and then they have to change it and then they release it in the OTT office. Right, so next. Uh, and then the OTTs are uh, influencing like anything, especially for uh, youth and children. Uh, it's 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 very influencing uh, medium actually. So you can see the Andhra uh, child, the inspired by KGF2. It's Rocky, Hyderabad, teen smoke pack of cigarettes, falls ill. And then he, he has been admitted in the hospital. Uh, before that, if you are going to, if, if someone wants to uh, see the movie, and then they have to go to the theater, get the ticket, and then uh, they have to spend money and then go there. But now it's uh, OTT, it's available here. If you have a subscription, you can, you can watch any number of times. So it's influencing like anything. Keep on, some, uh, suppose he likes a particular hero and then he's keep on watching the particular movie and then he has been influenced. And then he also tried to do the same thing uh, what the hero did uh, in the movie. So the, like that only we got this one. And then the another uh, interview, the top seat, uh, she, was, she was explaining that the uh, first time she's smoking in the movie and then uh, these kind of things also is happening because of another uh, you should next. Uh, the Tamil movie Pandigai. You can see the Tamil movie Pandigai. Pandigai is the movie where the uh, some scene is happening in the uh, children's home. Uh, the as per the JJ Act, you know, the children's homes are there. In the children's home, they are showing the uh, smoking scene, and then we say we said the representation, and then. Uh, it's a it's on, it's not only a violation of uh, a and then it's also uh, violating the JJ Act, Juvenile Justice Act, and then we send it to uh, uh, NCPCR also National Child Rights uh, Council, and then they send a representation to the state and other places, and then uh, based on that we are able to get the uh, guidance uh, advisory uh, inter entertainment industry how the child can be. Uh, treated in the entertainment industry. The, the guidelines have been issued by the NCPCR. Next. To the Telugu movie Shyam Singharai also, it's an, uh, it's an attack, uh, violation uh, where, you can, where you won't find any health spot or uh, any all these three things has been uh, violated. And then uh, this movie has been uh, released in different languages also. It's not only in uh, Telugu, and then it's released in uh, Tamil and other uh, many languages. And then uh, the shooting spot also, it's not only in Andhra Pradesh, and then they travel uh, from Andhra to Calcutta and all the protections of this also, they are not <clears throat> maintaining the tobacco free. Uh, so it's an actual violation. And then we reported this to that uh, grievance, <clears throat> grievance cell, and then they are able to send up uh, communication saying that the smoking scene is very much needed for the movie, for the creativity. So uh, we are not able to remove the smoking scene. But uh, why we are not uh, adding this health spot or on the other thing? For that, they are saying they are adding. Uh, they are, what they are saying is it's a, a age per age specific movie, and then uh, so the, it's it's a viewer's responsibility to. Uh, see the health part and other things. So it's a complicated one. Maximum they they'll just uh, mix up with some other issues and then always they want to confuse and then always they want to escape uh, from adding the health warnings in the movies. Next, 
and then the another Tamil movie Maha. It's also the he he just smoking and then he is blowing the uh, smoke into a child face. So it's also it's not only a kotwa but also it's another act. Also really we have to look into and then uh, how they can do all these kind of things and then we send a representation for that also the uh, aha media no. So they say they you know uh, this, this scene is very much needed for the movie. Uh, so here we have a question about the editorial justification. If you are having a smoking scene in a particular movie, uh, you have to add an editorial justification. But but there is no guidelines for the editorial justification. Editorial justification can be like just simply writing a letter saying that the, this uh, scene is needed for the movie. That's it. So I, I don't think it's an editorial justification. Really, we have to work on that part actually. Next. And then the Hindi movie Bali Bouncer also, it's uh, the violation. Uh, the grievance officer disposed of the complaint in setting that the new film rules under Godpa is not applicable to the OTT platforms. So it's before the uh, uh, this uh, GSR 400 order. So we are, we are keep on uh, monitoring and uh, uh, sending complaint to them. Uh, once the central government, they released the GSR 400 on uh, 31st of May last year, uh, the June, from, from June they have to uh, complain has to be there, but what happened, uh, there is a class there, they are within three months they have to, uh, uh, they have to uh, follow the rules. And then the September one, from September one they have to follow, but still they are not following it. Many. Uh, OTT platforms, they are they are not uh, into this thing, and then especially the Netflix, uh, they are they are <laughs> they are nothing to do with our health uh, health acts actually. Oh, the GSR and other things. So really, we have to work on this next. And then there are another movie, Rowdy Boys, and then they are also using the uh, social media now. So before that, they used to. There is the poster in the wall, but uh, now the big, big banners will be there. No, uh, now it's like a uh, just like just a simple poster in the social media, and then it will reach to everyone, and then they start watching the movie. So, and then we address this issue, and then uh, they are able to remove the poster, the rowdy boys poster, and then uh, we are able to get some response from the particular production house. Next. And then the Malayala movie Minnal Murali, uh, the Minnal Murali also the same issue, but it's from the Kerala, but it's uh, released in uh, uh, nationwide, but uh, in different uh, vernacular languages. But the, if you see the health spot, uh, it's not there. If we, some of the uh, regional level movies, if you see the health spot, it will be in the regional language. Suppose it's a Tamil movie, only it will be in Tamil. If it is released in uh, screened in uh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, only it will be in Tamil. Then what is the use of that? Suppose there is a movie, in a Hindi movie, and then it's dubbed and uh, you can watch in Tamil, and then if it, if the health spot is in Hindi, and then there is no use of uh, that health spot. No? So like that, that's a, this kind of violations are still there. Uh, next, these are the loopholes actually. So you can find many complaints in the OTT platform. When we are going to the OTT and then uh, you can see how many violations are there. And then even the, uh, the series also, no? the web series, the web series also, they, it's like a promotion, almost like a promotion. Next. Uh, and then the uh, another big issue is uh, they're also violating the uh, regular uh, act. Suppose, uh, for example, we. Uh, the pictorial warning uh, has to be there in the tobacco products. But see, they are showing the uh, uh, cigarette packet here without okay, pictorial warning. Oh. So without any pictorial warning here. So uh, so they are violating the main act itself. It's not only the OTT and then they are not adding the health spot and other things, but also they are uh, doing it. So it's a bigger violation. Then. The next play, next. And then you can see the uh, hookah bar. Hookah bar also is banned. Hookah smoking is also banned. 
but still they are showing the hookah how to how to do how to uh, consume hookah and all these kind of things so they are also violating the hookah bar act also the next next one is the uh, electronic cigarette actually sir which ashraka netflix yeah next before that i don't know where where it's uh, changed and then they are also showing the electronic cigarette in the uh, movies so electronic cigarettes are banned in uh, india and then they are not supposed to consume electronic cigarette in the movies but they are showing the electronic cigarette so uh, ott platform is the uh, way of advertising yeah, the all kind of advertising and promotions has been uh, banned but they are using the ott is the advertisement advertising and promotional uh, activity so that's why we really we have to be very careful with the ott platforms uh, more than the conventional theaters and then really we have to be uh, careful about the ott platforms and then the telugu movie pushy it's also the same violation is happening and then uh, so far we are not able to get any response from the uh, netflix next and then the before gsr and after gsr before gsr there is a gsr 708 and 786 these are the gsr gsrs are explaining about how the uh, health part has to be there what are the rules and regulations and everything has been explained in these two gsrs uh, so that's why I, so uh, keep on the ott platforms are violating and then because in that particular gsr there is no word called uh, the ott platform or digital media so the, that's why they are saying it's not applicable for us so after gsr 400e and then uh, the 400e is uh, specifically for ott platform they added the ott platform on digital media and the digital contents uh, so uh, it's, it's official now it's official the code is applicable for the ott platforms also but still you will see the violation the thing is if something is happen or some violations have happened how we can take action against the particular people that part that uh, enforcement part is missing so that's why they are playing like anything the ott platform they are, they are playing with that and then they are keep on continuing their old tactics next and then the why we are not able to get the res proper response from the grievance cell no see you can see uh, who are all in the grievance cell uh, the co founder of partner of me entertainment uh, and then the senior advocate supreme court of india he is for uh, netflix and then the director uh, legal netflix india so these are the people uh, part of that uh, grievance cell and then they are the violators they are sent we are giving the complaint against them but they are the one who giving the uh, judgment for us so how we can get the justice so that's the issue and then really we have to change this grievance cell how the how the violators can become a uh, group of people and then they are taking action uh, for that particular violation so i don't think uh, how we can continue with this next and then the four four it's also another movie the recent one and then they are able to they are able to send a letter saying that within two days you have to respond to our our query otherwise uh, we won't uh, respond and then uh, they are also threatening us and then they will be going for a defamation case and if you are continuing to send a uh, complaint uh, uh, so we, we are not supposed to send a complaint or we are not supposed to uh, address the ott issues and then we, we are not supposed to ask them to uh, do the proper uh, following the gsr 400 then they are saying they will come with a defamation uh, case against us because uh, we are disturbing to their business it seems so uh, they are sending letters like that but uh, but still we, we didn't respond to that and then to address this issue there is a very good uh, system we have there is a system called section 5 committee uh, that the somoto also they can take action against the particular movie or any kind of uh, taps violation any kind of advertisement promotion sponsorship any uh, thing can be comes under this uh, section 5 committee there is a uh, legal power also this particular committee uh, most of the states they have this committee and then tamil nadu we have a latest committee also so it's a big history 
uh, how the Section 5 committee has been formed and then what are the rules and regulations for them, how they can take action. So all these kind of uh, all these kind of things are available in this Section 5 committee. Uh, in a few states, they don't have the Section 5 committee and then they are not aware about the importance of Section 5 committee. Most of the places, what they're doing is in the state tobacco control cell meeting, they are also conducting the same meeting for Section 5 committee. This one is entirely different. And then where our civil society members are also part of that, and then they have to come up with the strong recommendations and then they can take action against the violators. Next. So in that present position, the act designates still other. So this is the proper uh, thing in the code by itself. So it has been added in the uh, previous code by itself. Before the NTCP, it has uh, established. So really it's a very good thing. Uh, next. We have to use this Section 5 committee, uh, then only it will be live. Next. Yeah. So the OTT platforms are, uh, nowadays, uh, it's a major issue, and then they are violating like anything, and then they don't have any uh, rules and regulations for them. We have uh, GSR 400, but uh, information and uh, uh, the information that IT Act, uh, nothing is there. The IT Act is nothing is there. Other acts also, they are not uh, going to the other acts also. So really, uh, we have to we have to really we have to work together and then we have to come up with some strategy how we can uh, commit the OTT platforms to this uh, land because it's a it's a it's a uh, very big industry uh, and then for that really we have to come up with a big way also. Thank you very much. If you have any questions and then I can answer. Thank you very much. So thank you, Sunil. Uh, actually, Cyril explained it in a very, very simple way that OTT platform or uh, uh, that uh, gained credence during the COVID-19 uh, era because the people, they couldn't go out and they could watch uh, movies uh, in comfort of their homes. So it became very popular. And you see that uh, almost one third of the population is a subscriber of the OTT platforms. Uh, almost more than 50 crore subscribers are there. Then we already had Section 5 of Kodpa Film and TV rules, but uh, they were not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we couldn't uh, act against the TV film rules against the OTT platforms. Uh, the rules were notified on 31st of May 2023. And uh, the validity is from 1st of uh, September 2023. So as I told you that it was immediately after we had a consultation in, in Delhi that uh, this was possible. Then the health spots and uh, disclaimers, they are must. Uh, if there's any tobacco imagery, imagery on uh, OTT platform, as was in the film and television. Uh, film, uh, film and television. The problem Kids are impressed by tobacco imagery on OTT platform. And various examples were given about the violations by uh, Mr. Cyril. OTT, they are violating other laws also, like uh, uh, they are showing hookah bars, they are showing uh, showing cigarette packs without uh, Victoria Health warning. And they are even showing electronic cigarette, which is banned under P-19. Then he also told about the grievance, uh, grievance Redressal Board or Committees, Government of India, so which had uh, members with the conflict of interest because they had interest in the OTT platforms also and they were part of the board or redressal board or the committee. And they are also threatening the activists like uh, Mr. Cyril. So the forum is open for all if you have any questions. And uh, Mr. Arun Varma, do you have any questions? Or, or a comment to make, yeah. or a comment to make. So no, anyone no, just can, uh, can un okay. So you can unmute yourself and uh, please ask question if you have any. Surbhi Jindal, do you have any question? Surbhi Jindal is from Haryana. She's a consultant in Ambala. 
consultant and DCP. Subhi, do you have any questions? Uh, can you just uh, open up your video so that we can take your snapshots? All are requested to please uh, open up your videos. Yeah, thank you, Nandana, Sushma, Jasmine. Please open up your videos. Thank you, Patel. Thank you, Dr. Monga. So all, all are requested to please open up your video so that uh, we can have a snapshot, good snapshot. So pe people are hesitant to open up their videos to show their faces. <laughs> okay. So if there are no more questions or comments, then we can close this meeting. And I hope, uh, Cyril, that uh, made it very simple. And it is very important because all of us, they are, we are watching OTT uh, movies on OTT platforms or the serials. And uh, we see on daily basis the violations. So thank you, Cyril. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So uh, Mr. Verma, uh, do you have any thank you? Any formal vote of thanks? No, thank you so much. We uh, we, we I mean, uh, okay. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, on behalf of the organizer, that is Echo India and uh, Cipher, I convey uh, thanks to Doctor to Mr. Sira for you know making a very wonderful presentation. Uh, we are really grateful to him for sharing his views and which is in a very simple way anybody can understand it as a I mean, layman's language what he has given but the kind of efforts and the hard work put in and behind all achieving this I mean probably it's a number of years for which he has been working. Uh, I also thank each and every participants for joining. Uh, we had quite a large number of participants maybe it was more than 50. Uh, at one time, uh, I think 52 or 53. It, it looks that uh, Mr. Cheryl is quite popular uh, with this subject. So thanks, thank you once again. I also thank uh, uh, Dr. Rakesh Gupta, the President Saifa, for organizing this you know, webinar. Thank you very much. And so thank you. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you.